Hello students, in the last episode we discussed binary operations in detail and today we will be discussing some more notions involving binary operations also another type of binary operation. Firstly we take the notion of identity. If we have a binary operation defined on a set A then with the property that if for all A belonging to A there exist E belongs to A such that A star E is equal to E star A is equal to A. Then we say E is identity. For instance, in case of addition of numbers, 0 plus anything is 0 always. So, 0 behaves the role of identity for addition in numbers. Similarly, any number times 1 is always the same number. So, there 1 plays the role of identity in multiplication. In short, 0 is called additive identity whereas, 1 is called multiplicative identity. But in general in any operation we can find identity which may not be 1 or 0. Let us take some example. Similarly, we have one more case known as inverse of an element. For instance, we have a set with an operation star with identity E. If we can find an element B for each A such that A star B is B star A is equal to E. Then this B is called inverse of A and whenever B exists we say A is invertible. Now take the example we are given a set 0, 1, 2, 3 up to 5 and the operation is defined as A star B is A plus B if A plus B is less than 6 while A star B is A plus B minus 6 when A plus B is more than or equal to 6. Now, we have to show that 0 is the entity for this operation and every non-zero element is invertible with 6 minus a as the inverse. Let us see how to proceed solving this problem. We guess that 0 is the identity. So, to show that we have a star 0. This will be equal to a plus 0 if a plus 0 is less than 6 or a plus 0 minus 6 if a plus 0 is more than 6. Now, since every element in the set is up to 5 only, so a is less than 6. So, a plus 0 is also less than 6. So, the first case is ok. So, we have this is equal to simply a. Also, 0 star a this equals 0 plus a if 0 plus a is less than 6 and 0 plus a minus 6 if 0 plus a is more than equal to 6. Here again it comes down to simply a. Thus we found that 0 star a is a star 0 is equal to a. So, we conclude that in this problem 0 is the identity. Our next task is to find the inverse of a when a is non-zero. Suppose inverse of a is b. We have a star b is equal to a plus b if a is less than 6 and a plus b minus 6 
if a is more than equal to 6. But we want a star b to be equal to 0 that is e. This means a plus b should be 0 which gives b is minus a, but minus a finds no element in the given set. So, this would not work. So, let us take a plus b minus 6 is 0. This gives b is equal to 6 minus a. Thus, a inverse is simply 6 minus a so long as a is not 0. Because if a is 0, then this becomes 6, which is not the element of the given set. So, every non-zero element has inverse. So, we can say every a other than 0 is invertible. Let us take one more example. Show that for the operation star defined on the set 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 by a star b equal to the remainder on dividing a b by 10. The identity is 6. This problem is very interesting. Usually identity becomes 0 or 1. Here is a case the identity is neither 0 nor 1. Let us solve this problem. We have 0 star 6 equal to remainder it is 0 because 0 star 6 is 0. We divide it by 6 the remainder is 0. Let us take 0 star 2 star 6. This is actually 12 by ordinary multiplication, but our answer is the remainder on dividing a b by 10. So, remainder on dividing 12 by 10 is 2. Similarly, 4 star 6, 4 times 6 is 24 and when you divide 24 by 10, remainder is 4. Then we have 6 star 6, 6 times 6 is 36, but when you divide 36 by 10, remainder is 6. Then 8 star 6, 8 times 6 is 48 and when you divide 48 by 10, remainder is 8. So, 8 star 6 is 6, 8. Now, since the operation is commutative, so we do not have to check for the 6 times 0 and all that, we do not check. So, ultimately every time 6 star any element is the same element. So, 6 is the identity. Let us take one more example. Here, consider the binary operation star r cross r to r and O r cross r to r defined by a cross b is a minus b modulus and a o b is a for all a b belonging to r. Now, here we are given two operations. Now, we to show that star is commutative, but not associative while O is associative, but not commutative. Also, we to show that star is distributive over O. Let us start solving this problem. First of all, we to show that star is commutative. For this, we have A star B is equal to mod A minus B, while B star A is mod B minus A. But since the mod operation is symmetrical, this is equal to A minus B. Thus, A star B is equal to B star A. This implies star is commutative. Now, we to show that star is not associative. For that, we will search for a counter example. Let us take 2 star 3 star 4. 
this is 2 minus 3 mod star 4 that is 1 star 4 that is mod 1 minus 4 that is 3. Now, take 2 star 3 star 4 this is 2 star mod 3 minus 4. So, this equals 2 star 1 that is mod 2 minus 1 equal to 1. Thus, the answers are different. So, A star B star C is not equal to A star B star C in this case. So, star is not associative. Next, we will show that O is associative, but not commutative. Let us take A O B O C that is equal to A O A that is equal to A, while A O B O C is equal to A O C is again A. Thus, in both the case, they are same results. So, A O B O C is equal to A O B O C. Hence, O is associative. Now, we will show that O is not commutative. We have A operation B is simply A, while B operation A is simply B. So, unless A and B are equal, these two are not equal. Thus, O is not commutative. For the last part of the problem, we have to show that the operation star is not distributive over the operation O. For this, we have to show a counter example. Let us take three elements, say 7, 3 and 2. We have 7 star 3 O 2. This equals 7 star 3 that equals 7 minus 3 mod that is 4. Whereas, 7 star 3 O 7 star 2 is equal to mod 7 minus 3 O mod 7 minus 2. This gives 4 for the last part, we have to show that star is distributive over O. For this, we have like this A star B O C is equal to A star B O A star C. This we have to show. This side we have a star b that equals a minus b mod. Whereas, this side we have a minus b mod o a minus c mod, but this equals simply mod a minus b. Thus, these two are equal. So, you have A star B O C is A star B O A star C. So, it is distributive, but the reverse part is not true. That is, 
O is not distributive over star which can be verified easily. Today we discussed some more notions involving Banner eruption such as identity and inverse. Sometimes with two operations we have one more law known as distributive law. Now having done this we have completed the entire portion on functions. In our next episode we shall take up binary relations.